Yeah, we find her. That beautiful girl we've been missing. We rather we wanna have her kissing. <laughs> we find her, now we love. Say go so the remix. DMB Tuck Spice. Remix. Now if I had a loose like a bad phone connection I'd change my game to get a better reception Sit back, let's start this interaction Don't fight the feelings, just a chain reaction Your heart won't give you the wrong instructions Like my GPS, yes I got the right direction We gotta merge together like a road intersection Last stop is gonna be my love and affection I ain't like the mother deuce, they wanna call you shorty But I'ma call you a beautiful girl I took you to your home my mama saw it, she like, she's a very, very beautiful girl I wanna put you in my video, cause you're so beautiful You're a beautiful girl So when you hear us in your radio, turn up your stereo you're It's a beautiful girl I gotta find a shorty, who's worth of a lady A nice body baby, doesn't look like 40 yeah. It's taking a little time was a sin, no signs, any traces of my baby, who's gonna be my baby, but I thought I'm gonna take my time, with them to go off my eye, I saw a shot passing by, she's got this very pretty smile, he was right at the pay station, I tried to make a conversation, all in arms, feeling so tough, I felt the sensation, it's been a while, that I've been trying to find a beautiful girl And now I realize I found me a beauty Beautiful girl She's a model, she's so fine I just wanna take a bite Beautiful girl It's what my eyes are killing her thigh I found me a beautiful girl I wish came true when I saw you, girl God must have blessed me with your beauty, girl Looking so right from your head to your toe Shape like a coke bottle with a smile of a queen My queen to be, you my destiny Got a body of a goddess with your beauty I'm impressed and I'm never in distress Come on over and be mine Things searching for a man and now All the cats keep looking to mine With a sexy walk and a sexy talk She must be from a planet called the sexy world I know I ain't tripping better yet I'm thinking put a ring on the finger We look good together Take your place in my heart With your beauty I'ma say That I'll never turn away Who would think I'm in love So the way she smiles at me Just really really makes me weak the way she speaks to me Just really make me go so weak Keep staring in her eyebrows All I get to say is wow If you just have a reason night All I really want in my life Oh yeah It's been a while that I've been trying I found a beautiful girl Fine, fine, brown eyes I found me a beauty Beautiful girl She's my model, she's so fine several presents and gifts call, call me santa claus i make a heartbeat pause that's my girl homeboy not yours the girl of my dream she's more than i ever thought show me ass and gotcha i think i'm getting punked she's what i really want so i'm a go-getter since i'm a go-getter you know i'm gonna get her <laughs> and i will give her the world anything for my beautiful girl <laughs> psych
Man of prestige. Ha. Now this guy win. All right, welcome back. Um, we're pre-recording this week. Hopefully, uh, the recordings are good. All right, it looks like we're still good. All right, I'll see what I can do. But I'm in the middle of nowhere in southern Texas, and my signals, both on my phone and the hotel signals, are terrible. All right, so hopefully we can make something out of it. I just disconnected from my phone, connected with the hotel so hopefully it works but let's let's you know we're seven minutes into this already i'm probably hanging out in the chat with you so pardon me uh work with me over the next two weeks we plan on bringing content okay we we'll plan on continue to bring content but shout out to you welcome back do me a favor hit that like button share subscribe turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever we go live okay Turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever we go live. I'm monitoring this. Is my mind like uh, <laughs> anyway? I'm here. All right, but let me share my screen, and uh, hopefully we can make the most out of the situation. Okay, we always we don't complain. That's what we sign up to do, right? Shout out to I heard uh, Shannon Shay Shay said something like that over the week. We don't complain. We don't make excuses. This is what we signed up to do but today we're going to talk about mr ibu all right sadly mr ibu passed away all right he passed away uh yesterday two days ago at the time you're watching this all right he passed away and uh, there's so much to learn from this guy's story even if there was nothing to learn the way people react we provide additional lessons for us right so even if the guy walked the perfect walking line everything was perfect the way that people react to life events that, that kind of like uh, trigger all of us you know we'll get you know we'll, we'll get us extracting some lessons maybe not from mr Ibu, but at least from the way people react all right but before we get into that shout out to my sponsors shout out to not to shout out to Mo Fresh, shout out to Richie, shout out to Adesua, Film Girl, Tima, Show Mama, Gores Corner, D Love 3000, Yes TV. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, especially for February, for making February f such a fantastic month. I appreciate you all. March is promised to be another great month. Okay, so welcome to March. All right. Uh, this month, our goal this month is $273.76. We're already up to $7.45. On the last show, we were at $223.27. That was last month. 
we made it to two fifty three dollars and sixty eight cents. That is that's out of the three hundred and eighteen dollars uh, goal that was set. So that's fantastic. You can sponsor any one of our shows for as low as ninety nine cents. It goes a long way. It, it gets us going. Okay, help us pay some of the little little bills that comes with running this platform. You know, obviously. Um, you know, the platform is not paying for my time, not yet, okay? That's the plan at some point. But we're doing well. We're doing very, very well, and I'm appreciative for all of your support, okay? So, with that being said, again, do me a favor. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications. Also, you can download the book. The books are available for free at manofprestige.com. I have five books. There's two on relationship, two on real, on real estate, and one on business and marketing. And yes, by the way, I am doing a camp. I'm running a boot camp. Go to the community page or come to the WhatsApp group. I'll give you access. It's a free boot camp. It's 11 days. Uh, if you want to acquire digital skills, if you don't have digital skills, your job is highly likely is going to disappear in the next few years. Okay. So I'm going to run to 11 days boot camp, uh, acquiring a digital skill that you can leverage for any one of your endeavors either you want to get into it or you want to use it to build a business this are going to be very very useful skill set for you okay all right and if you have any questions you know you're not clear about any one of this stuff send an email to ask at manofprestige.com all right ask at manofprestige.com hit the like button share subscribe turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever we go live i'll be right back your love that I've been missing I miss all your hugs, your touching and kissing me love on the floor, the couch in the kitchen one love enough, we done enough alright, welcome back, welcome back so, as I was saying Mr. Ibu passed on some uh, yes, about two days ago now at this point, okay he passed on and it's kind of sad you know because a lot of people were rooting for him the public general public Mr. Ibu was a nigerian comedian his real name was john okafor and uh my first my earliest memory of seeing him on tv was actually acting the the role the character of mr ibu along with his two sons i don't know if they were sons or whatever you may call it adopted sons Aki and Popo in Mr. Ibu. All right. So, Mr. Ibu, John Akafo passed on. Let's blame these two. What two? Hmm. You know, like I said, even if we, you know, we've already covered when he was alive, just up to just a few weeks ago, we covered uh, his story quite a bit. A lot of the stuff that we saw, a lot of misbehavior, not particularly on his part, but some of his loved ones. Uh, the only thing we kind of like uh, pointed out was that maybe he could have done a better job with regards to keeping his life in order. But he's passed on now. He was 62 years old. So it is what it is. Uh, that's life. Life is short. Uh, it can be sweet. It can be bitter. You know, people will have their outlook on you. Uh, once somebody passed on, all the shoulda, coulda, woulda uh, should basically pass on too. Like there's no need to judge his life once it's passed on uh the only thing we should be doing is remembering him for what we love the most about him which is the fact that he made people laugh you know he made people that uh didn't even know his character or know his person or familiar with if he's, even if he's nigerian at all i mean the memes are endless right so um you know it's just to celebrate his life until people start to react and then we say that reaction is off what is wrong with you <laughs> right what is wrong with you right so and that's why we're going to that's why we're going to talk a little bit more about this today all right so yeah so people are looking for anytime people get triggered or something undesirable happens the first thing they're looking for is who what anything to blame 
Why? Because they must dish blame to something, someone, somehow. And it, and it's not necessary. The greatest, the greatest of mankind, the greatest people that have gone through this place, gone through this experience, the human experience, they don't, they don't do that. Okay, they don't do that. If they did that, it's probably probably part of a character, part of a, a role play. They know you're gonna bite into it, and they're going to swindle you with it because they know you have a tendency to look for anything to blame right so you might see politicians my 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 use blame because they know you're going to jump on the bandwagon and then direct all of them in the direction that they want there's always some kind of propaganda behind it but people that understand power they it's not that deep they don't use blame like that unless they're using it to push an agenda and i'm sharing that with you so you can also start paying attention okay so that you too don't become uh, a victim of your own circumstances. All right. So can you tell yet? I'm in a hotel room. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this really quickly. Why are we talking about this? What are some of the reactions that we've seen? Uh, if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen me actually pointed, I think, some of them out, right? I think so. I'm not sure. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I posted something on, on TikTok, right? And, uh, as a matter of fact, let me go to TikTok real quickly um, and play that video. No, let me just do your own version here. How's that? I'll do our own version here. All right. So this person posted something that I thought was extremely uh, stupid. Okay. And this person has a verified page on Twitter. Sadly, they have a verified page on Twitter. Can you imagine that? Uh, the person says, Be before Mr. Ibu died, one, first wife divorced him and took away his savings. All right. So um, it's not about this person being wrong in terms of the facts. It's about when somebody passes away, really? This is what you want to put together? Anyway. Albert not hide. I have no idea who this person. Let me see if there's some kind of uh, paying critical attention to all the tiny details. And he has this guy looks like a young man. I can't tell yet. This guy has two hundred thirteen thousand followers on Twitter. Let me check out this YouTube page. There's a YouTube page that he just started. The YouTube page has a little bit over 1,000 subscribers. So he's just getting started with his YouTube. He already has 12 videos up. Okay. So he's probably getting some kind of clout and he probably thinks he's an authority. Guess what? He's an authority. So you got to be careful. Some of the people that you're taking the advice or you're listening to the advice or their advice have become talking points in your household, in your life, and they're literally controlling your life right now. Some of them are... I just let me see, hold on a second. Yeah, some of them, sorry, I just want to make sure nobody's knocking on my door. <laughs> some of those people, right, um, uh, you made them popular because, you know, it is what it is, you know. So, why am I saying that? I just wanted to know the source of this write-up. Okay. So, let's get back to the Twitter page. He says, first wife divorced and took away his saving. Second wife accused him of sleeping with daughter. Okay. Adopted daughter. All right. Because when you put it that way, there's context that's going to be missing in that, right? Yes. That's, if he actually adopted that's his daughter, but we know that he never really did the paperwork right uh consequently he suffered diabetes which is something that good people do suffer in life let me show my face okay never mind what your pastors told you good people do suffer from diabetes and all types of diseases and stuff like that you know why because this is real life and uh this is just a passage the human experience is a passage for you and i Everybody go quiet one day. 
the prayer because we're you know obviously we have relationships we're enjoying anytime we're enjoying our relationships it feels like it should last forever i know but really literally in life nothing literally lasts forever did you know that okay i hope you knew all right okay so uh people are born with uh people are born already with pre-exposure pre that's what they call it right to certain types of disease genetics things like that this is the human experience this is not your mate this is not something you hug up on what you can do is make the most out of it focus on the positive which clearly this young man or whoever this is is having trouble doing even when the ultimate has called this man home he can't help it he can't he can't like one day just be respectful anyway so consequently he suffered diabetes um that's not exact in the grand scheme of things that's not a bad news okay if, if it, what it comes down to is that you want to learn how to manage whatever life throws at you right number four had blood clotting or dead blood vessels in the leg okay this is how nigerian paint a picture like his life was terrible mm -hmm. his daughter squandered monies meant for his surgery Shengbo. Shengbo with it. and then he goes on to say his wife still asked for iphone 15 while he was dying right he sold almost all his properties okay uh by the way we're only saying that because it's mr Ibu. that happened quite often in nigeria more often than you would like to where people fall sick all right and there are solutions we can come up with i did see i did see some kind of news material on channels tv earlier on about you know uh having uh measures in place for entertainers content creators if they do fall sick and stuff like that they've been having that conversation for a while it's a good conversation that they should keep having until they figure it out right he sold almost all his properties his leg was eventually amputated finally he dies abandoned with no wife okay how can you abandon the person that has died i'm asking for a friend can you abandon the person that already dead does that make any sense makes no sense right it's cruise monday let's just see if we can get some lessons out of this okay finally he dies abandoned with no wife oh he was already abandoned with no wife is that the truth or this is just made up to do what what type of propaganda is this person pushing right now right no properties no money and no legs okay what is this point finally he gets to a stupid point very very stupid point legacy ruined marriage is a loss to every man i beg who is talking who is the married man who is saying marriage is a loss who is a happily married man forget happily who is a healthily married man in a healthy relationship saying marriage is a loss to every man is it safe to conclude that the first type of person that will say marriage is a loss to a man is a person who has failed in marriage Jeez. is that safe to say Chai. I beg, hit the like button. Hit the like button. I'm in the chat. Talk to me in the chat. Let's engage in the chat. Is that safe to say that you must have failed in marriage for you to conclude that marriage is a loss to every man? Forget a man. Every man. You know, anytime you use the word every, ever, always, for this type of situations, we already know that it's gross exaggeration we already know that is generalization and we also already know that you're trying to oversimplify 
a very complex issue. Well, it's not actually a complex issue. As human beings, we are complex beings. You are basically saying there's no need to for me to educate myself, right? Whenever we say emotional intelligence, you say these nuts, <laughs> right? Whenever we say go and see, go and see, go and talk to a counselor, you say what? These nuts, <laughs> right? You say it's the only boat. Is that on your boat thing? But you are the first to call women weary, right? Or call the other gender weary because honestly, the gender war is coming from both ends. It's crazy, okay? It's crazy. Stop deceiving yourself. You tell when you type something stupid like this, you're telling on yourself. Tell us. I'm not shaming you. I promise you. But for your own good, tell us the rest of the story. What happened to you in GSS two? So even if so, the second type of person that will make this kind of conclusion is a person that you know maybe collected a healthy dose of breakfast in gss3 jesus is not right maybe it's second hand maybe it's not you personally but you watch somebody your father or uncle collected shigi shigi from woman so you conclude uh you make stupid conclusions that will actually hurt yourself because we know that you're not going to avoid women we know that you're a freaking simp like you always call it and you're not going to avoid women because honestly all of these problems can be avoided easily by simply avoiding the other gender but no mm -mm. you must drag your destiny You have to drag your destiny if you don't drag your destiny you won't be all right legacy ruined marriage is a loss to every man um mr ibu legacy will never be ruined i don't know if you understand what i'm saying it's literally impossible this man will have to take if he if he tried if anybody tried to erase his legacy right now it would take them a good 500 years Literally. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about All it. Right. It will take them much more than that to erase the legacy of Mr. Abel. See, this issues goes back to you have to learn how to you have to learn how to attach. You have to learn that you actually get to decide what meanings you attach to the events of life. The events of life are just that. Sometimes good things ba happen to bad people and vice versa. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Now there are patterns. There's so much more we get to control. That's the reality. We do control a lot. Okay? But there's, uh, there's some things we just don't get to control. And this is where people bring in luck, right? Somebody is lucky, somebody... Uh, well, a 62-year-old man is quite young for them to pass away, right? Why? What benchmark? What standard are we using? What benchmark? What standard are we using? What is the average lifespan in Nigeria? Is this really a Mr. Ibu issue, right? In the United States where I live, the, the average life expectancy in the united states as far back as 2022 is 77.5 years old okay it's a 1.1 year increase from 2021 but a 1.3 year decrease from 2019 and the cdc also states that the average life expectancy is 76.4 years for both sexes 73.5 years for males 79 Point three years old for females okay so on an average in the united states as it stands right now females live longer let's check out in nigeria remember what we're talking about is this is this a mr ibu issue i mean this is just a national thing or it's just a international worldwide global issue it's all of the above okay we're not gonna say hey he has no control. No, he did have control. 
okay to a large extent his lifestyle was he a drinker was he or you know did he involve himself in certain activities that could have shortened his lifespan maybe put him through too much stress put his body to too much stress maybe okay but the reality is that in 2020 the average life expectancy in nigeria is 52 years old okay let's round it up 53 years old it's actually 52.89 years okay so he beat that number um is 62 years old should we be happy no what i am saying is that there's so much factors there's so much that goes into this and none of them has anything to do with there's so much more that has nothing to do with the first wife the second wife the abandonment the fake abandonment that just got made up because this man had people feeding him literally the picture we're looking at is a picture of him being fed in bed while he was being taken care of in a hospital not only that he's a national treasure a lot of people donated to his well-being so he can make it and many people were rooting for him so this person that typed this this is crazy this is terrible now the worst part about this is not albert not hyde the worst part about this is how many times has this been shared okay how many times has this been shared there are, this thing has 7.6 million views you know why because people can relate now people like me are also watching too and this, this one is crazy right but the reality is that majority of these people are watching because there's a negative nerve that just got hit okay so this is how people think this is why they don't work on their relationship okay because it has to be someone else's fault something else's fault this is why they don't put any effort into the relationship 7.6 million all right let's see what this one has to say uh you got a few sorry for me saibu let's see let me see let's put it back in the beginning mr ebu i saw this thing on insta blog and i've seen it on other blogs mr ebu wife said the millions that they contributed it has been hijacked by somebody by a stranger referring to jasmine and on the other hand you understand she said they did not give her access to the money first of all you understand i didn't want to say all these things all the things i know about this whole thing but i think it's time to just clear the public you understand first of all me i will say i, will, I pray to god that i will never marry somebody like that woman first of all now know me they go straight and direct now if she's that woman is who you attract you will literally marry her okay if that woman we're looking at very dark man if that woman is who you are you will literally attract her it might not look exactly like her. What's her name again? I forgot her name now. Stella Stella Marie. If that's who you are, you will literally attract her. All that prayer end up in the quarter quarter instantly. You know, the prayer, I guess, for the little part that you don't get to control, like the society, like the average life expectancy, like the curses from your family and all these different things, right? Sure. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, when you involve your emotional capabilities, <laughs> where are you running to? <laughs> now, you're literally going to marry her if that's who you are. Let's keep going. She's coming online to say she does not have access. Did she tell why the family, they are said, Mr. Ibu himself does not trust her with money? We are talking about a woman that when we, when they start. Uh, contributing that money online when that money got to 40 million naira, do you know what that woman did that woman called and said that, uh, that it's time for her to that they should buy her an iphone 15. your husband did for sick bed then you try to make decision whether in leg or go whether in here especially where pick by well in that case that's terrible that's sad but i have a feeling that that was probably taken out of context okay that was probably taken out of context. At the very, at the most, she was being insensitive to everything else that was going on. The point I'm making is that it's not that deep. You're making it deeper than it needs to be. Okay? You were not there. You didn't see if she was bantering. You don't know if they were engaging in some other kind of jokes and she was asking for that. Am I defending? 
Am I defending uh, Stella Maris? No. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm actually more worried about you. Not worried. It's not that deep. But you should be worried about you with this mindset of making absolute assertions from things that you, you're not previewed to the context, to the full context. Let's keep going. You say they no buy you iPhone 15. The woman did not even stop there. She said, and uh, she's still a young lady that they should give her some money out of the money so that she can go and take care of herself. That she needs to brush up her body. That she wants to go and do nyash. Yeah. Everybody was like, wait, madam. Your husband is sick. Bed. See what you they use your mouth to talk. Cause like I said, there is madness. But guess what? If that's who you are, that's literally what you're going to attract and marry. And when everything is sweet and dandy, you're not going to see that anything is wrong with it. Just probably the same way that Mr. Ibu did not see anything wrong with it. Okay? Mr. Ibu, outside of that one time that it was being recorded, that he didn't realize how viral it would go, you will never see him publicly drag Stella. Mm -mm. He won't drag Stella, he won't drag Jasmine, he won't drag anybody. Alright? It's just a guy who was trying to make the most out of life. But sadly, he didn't know a few things too. Right? But your response to this issue is giving. Long story short, this woman, they gave her some money. They gave her one million lira for upkeep for her child. You understand? She and her children. She removed the that money, go buy all this pad, all this fake nyash. They wear and come hospital. She did not tell the public that one. Secondly, a man came to the hospital to come and wait. So, Mr. Ibu was married to a woman who was wearing fake nyash come hospital. A woman who would not go to the hospital to take care of him and all this kind of stuff. And the only thing you can see is that that she's a bad woman. No, no I don't think so. I think there's more to that conversation than just being a bad woman. Okay. I think there's more to that conversation than just being a bad woman. It's not that simple. And I'm not going to let you get away with calling it simple. All right. These are very complex issues and you're trying to oversimplify it to right and wrong. That man knew why he married that woman. He's gotten some value from marrying that woman. She had at least three kids for that man. All right. So what would you get out of that? Work on yourself. If you think you should, you deserve something better, just the prayer is not going to work. No, who you marry is a terrible, 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 terrible phrase that basically exonerates you from your responsibility to work on yourself so that you don't attract who you are. Well, attract what you don't want because you will always, as a fact of life, attract who you are, man or woman. Okay? Yeah, you're right. There's some there's a small factor there where you don't control. It's a matter of luck and prayer and alubarika. Majority of it you control. Okay? If you don't see it that way, you just don't know enough. See Mr. Ibu. When the man got to the hospital, he was trying to meet Mr. Ibu. The woman refused the man. You understand that no, 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 he does not want to see anybody. At the end of the day, she finally led the man. When the man went and saw Mr. Ibu, you understand. He now wanted to transfer money to the accounts that people were contributing in. Mr. Ibu wife said that Access Bank account was not working, that they should transfer it to her account. That was how that man transferred that money to her account. God so kind, the man now transferred the receipt to Jasmine. When he transferred the receipt to Jasmine, Jasmine now even sent it to me that ah, look at what Mr. Ibu's wife is doing. You understand? Now, when they sent it, the man was now, they now told the man that ah, that he shouldn't have sent it. The man said, Does he want them to collect the money back from Mr. Ibu's wife? But in order for people not to say one or two things, let it not be as if the family are not together. Jasmine told the man that the man should not worry. You understand? Now, know me and evidence. Everything while I talk yourself. If I finish, make the woman say a lie. The municipal's wife is coming online now to talk about money. Did she talk about the cars that she sold? Did she talk about when she told Mr. Ibu that they should sell their house in Aja? That they should sell it for 44 million and she will not receive anything less than 25 million out of 44 million? Did she talk about how Mr. Ibu left their mansion and went to Ibadan and be staying with somebody inside the one room? You know what it means say your husband leave you for house. If they fear you, he run. Go stay with person. When wife get the left side one room, he they sleep on top chair. I'm not talking about any other person. I'm talking about Mr. Ibu. Mm -hmm. Did she talk about all these parts? Even in that hospital, did she talk about how Mr. Ibu did not want to see her? Mr. Ibu said he does not want her to come close to him. 
did she talk about all these parts she came online she was talking blah 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 i see a lot of comment i just start to laugh now when they wanted to the surgery that they did for mr Ibu that they made them cut the man's leg when they were thinking about that surgery they wanted to do another surgery for blood uh, testing whatever thing they needed somebody from the family to sign mr Ibu's wife refused to sign Wow. because she said because the doctor told them that it was a 50 50 thing she refused to sign and then she said that um that ah that she does not want to sign though because if anything happened who are responsible instead she was looking for jasmine so miss aibu was married to an illiterate woman right not just illiterate by way of books but somebody who does not have even ordinary wisdom to to think something like taking care of a person like your husband all the way through right he was married he married a person who is an illiterate it doesn't stop at she's an illiterate it actually literally starts and end like if we're going about these advices that we're seeing on the internet i'm going from the standpoint of these advices on the internet to men it starts and end at you married an illiterate person you married a person that you've gotten so much value from when they were not really a perfect human being they were an illiterate right so again let's keep going to come and sign do you understand this same money that she's talking about that jasmine is in charge of the money jasmine does not have one error in charge of that money it's mr Ibu's son that is in charge of the money mr Ibu's second son that is in charge of that money they went to the police station mr Ibu told the dpo of the police station in lagos aja area that he wants his son to be the one to handle that money anything sending money and receiving money mm. do you understand that money got to a hundred million but you know how much remain for the money money where they sit the man see the hospital like this they see they try no one or two things because the the, the poison of the infection that entered that man's body, I won't say poison, but I say poison, but obviously they're not come jazz. The infection that entered this man's body, up to now, they are still looking for a way to get everything out, to stabilize him. The leg that went out alone is not even part of it. That one a secondary case. There's still another problem inside. They are saying the man get diabetes, the man said no get diabetes. He doesn't have diabetes. And don't forget to say they call him in their this thing. Now, all these things I'm saying, there are a lot of proof. How about her brother that told Jasmine when that money got to 40 million? that jasmine and him and mr ibu wife should share the money four ways did she talk about all this one mr ibu wife you better come out this on a matter online you understand secondly one thing i just so that's all the saga stuff we've heard before okay that was him being treated in the hospital let me make it bigger so you can see so he had people around him just sounds like a bunch of illiterates jasmine like within 24 hours before the passing of Mr. Ibu, Jasmine or Yasmin, whatever it is, she was on um, on Tuesday. She was on Tuesday. Uh, let me see here if we can find that video. Um, she was on Tuesday with Tuesday, uh, telling the story of how she got swindled by an American guy who is still in Nigeria. Some weird, like after she talked, I just, I just. I was just like these people man the, my only conclusion with that jasmine situation is that she you know like i said before she needs to completely slow down she, um just because you're a good person you have a good heart does not mean you know what you're doing that's where a lot of people miss it they think because they have a good heart because they know the difference between right and wrong that they are competent to do life no okay um there's a good chance that you're not competent to do life regardless okay so i'm just gonna play you just a little bit uh here it's moving on with life and stuff so he was he was practically there not just for me because even while i was with him now recently while we were living together mm -hmm. he was not living with me alone he was living with me in my family house right. with my mom with my sibling with everybody in the house right. so he's right. more he's not just if a father figure to so me but everybody in my family okay. you understand okay. it's just me because i'm the one that people know people see my face so it looks like it's just, just me you. but it is so she continued to speak very well of mr ibu right which that i can appreciate that however however there is more right some guy came out on social media yesterday and started accusing 
Jasmine of changing the name uh, the name of, of on the TikTok account that has like a million followers that she had changed the name to hers honestly I don't know how to feel hold on I don't know how to feel about that to be honest with you because it was obvious that she's the one that built that platform is it nice mm -mm, it's not nice okay shout out to everybody who said happy birthday to my wife yesterday i appreciate you all thank you uh look at this post right here breaking news it's like mr ibu's adopted daughter jasmine knew that mr ibu was going to pass away she has changed renamed and converted mr ibu's tiktok account with over 1.1 million followers to her own name and deleted all mr ibu's videos blogger tosin cried out is it nice no is this does she need to be nice no is it kind no i don't think that's relevant <laughs> right this is business she built it there's money attached to it there's income attached to it right so from the same stories that's been peddled around the internet since they started together she was taking care of of him and many people were not even grateful for that right i questioned if their relationship was purely just you know non-sexual i questioned that that's just a question i don't know right uh because of everything that's going on but i just think it's just it's kind of wild so I, I don't know exactly how to feel about that but when there's a lot of money involved and they're getting paid 20 dollars $15,000 from their TikTok account. Ah, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Okay. It is what it is. That's what I can say about that. Okay. So, again, this tweet is crazy. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to see here. But I, I said something. Now, look at this. Oh. Look at this. Look at what another stupid person. Yes, I call this person stupid. Okay, not the person. Sorry, the idea is stupid. Mind you, Olu Jacob's wife is still with him. This is one way you can feel in your marriage. Start comparing your wife to another person or your husband to another person. That's a very quick way to fail in your marriage too. That's a very quick way to, to shoot your marriage on the legs. Okay? These are completely two different stories. First of all, Mr. Ibu and, 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 and Baba Olu Jacobs, do they look like the same thing to you? They don't look like the same thing to you. Stella Maris and, and Ajoke, do they look like the same type of person to you? Okay, so clearly, Miss Ajoke Silva has probably resources that, resources, not just money, resources that she doesn't have to behave that way. And part of our resources is our intellects, the way she thinks, the education, a certain type of mindset civilized or whatever you want to have against this other young lady stella right they are two different things but again remember that prayer you're praying for yourself you want an ajoke silver but you don't want stella maris i swear okay i pray for you today okay it's not really a real prayer it's just the reality of what will happen you will attract who you are <laughs> You will continue to attract who you are. Your best point of leverage is not to drag the other gender on the internet. It's not to engage in gender warrior. Your best point of leverage is to work on yourself and stop focusing so much on other people's life in very, very weird ways. If you like what they have, look and ask, what kind, how do they earn what they have? It doesn't fall out of the skies. No, they're not just lucky. Right? If Papa Olu Jacobs is enjoying an auntie at Bukes Silva, it's because he paid his dues. 90%, more likely 99.0% he paid his due. Not just because he sat somewhere on the internet with 200,000 followers and making a stupid prayer. That's called a word. So this is a stupid comparison. He tells me you're going to literally marry who you are attract them as that's just the default of life but you're gonna keep and you're gonna try to compare them to another person's wife i need to learn if you keep doing that okay your best point of leverage is to work on yourself if you feel you deserve better are you the kind of guy 
that will attract an ajokia silver, whatever that means to you. Because we don't know these people like that. Whatever IT Ajoke Silver means to you, are you that kind of guy that will attract? I be you think you're just gonna marry an Ajoke Silver and you have this mindset she will stay with you? No. They will take her from you. You will lose her. Okay? And it'll be too late before you realize that you missed out. Listen, you could be with a Stella Maris and she can actually be the best thing that ha- happened to you. Because at the end of the day, women yield to who you are. Yes, if we're talking about romantic relationships, that's still the fact. He said, only Jacob's wife is still around because the founders she will make at the end will be more than the losses. That's how all women think. This is a very stupid talking point. The most it is, is a talking point. Okay? That's how all women think is how you shoot yourself on the legs. Because the only solution to what you just said is to avoid women. And you're not going to do that. We know that you won't do it. <laughs> Who you marry? So you can see them all over this place. Who you marry determine how much life you have left. Absolutely not. There's so many other factors that goes into that. Okay. So many other factors that goes into that. Can that determine? Yes. Okay, but it's not about who you marry or crisis happening. Crisis will happen to every one of us. It's about how do you react to when this crisis happens? How would you react when this crisis happens inevitably to you, like the rest of us? And then he replies, This person say, Fact as a man, whether you live long or not depends on the woman you have in your life, including your mother. So, aka, you have no power. You are left, you are a weak link in your circle. Okay? You are a weak link to yourself, essentially. You are a useless human being if this is the truth. If the, everything about your life depends on the woman you marry, what happened to purpose? What happened to your own life mission? See, every the way you talk, everything is about the woman. That's why I said. Hey! Quick! Hey! Quick! Hey! Yo, Come Come on. Help me. Me. You got my key. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Nobody gonna help you. You need to help yourself. You already said, after all, your whole life is about the woman you get with. Are you going to avoid women? I be you're going to be a confused, stupid thing. The same thing for you ladies. If you think women are, you know, you're not going to work on yourself. It just depends on the kind of man. And you have nothing to bring to the table. The same thing goes to you too. Okay. You're going to attract you. And if you, whatever crisis comes with that, it's your responsibility to handle it. Like the rest of us. Okay. Now look at this one right here. This is another stupid person on this same story. Some past of fortune. Okay. Another person. Sorry. Not a stupid person kind of a stupid person but not really just because i just want to be nice i'm trying okay don't judge me okay another human being with a stupid idea it says a pastor fortune says the man on the left is a pastor and he's celebrating his 82 years old birthday today so shout out to pastor Adeboy. happy birthday to the baba all right so he turned 82 the brother on the right is a comedian and he just died at 62 today what do you learn from this? Yeah, what do you learn from it? Tell us. Let's see. He's going to tell us. He needs to wait, 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 wait. You want to hear what he learned from this? Are you ready? <laughs> what, what, did he, what, what did he learn from this? Am I boy? Nisu, 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 Nisu. So do you have a You are going to lose it too much. Let the poor breathe. He said, Use your life to serve God. That's the lesson he learned from it. Our untimely death shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. This is how they think. 
Now, when we're supposed to not be able to judge this statement because there's the word all in caps God in it. Wait, and it's and it's that's a very very stupid idea okay daddy freeze is in there of course it says yet adeboy is 42 year old son who was also a pastor pied 20 years younger than mr Ibu. let's be using our sense before creating unhinged narratives hmm. <laughs> Jadanu then rapture with it and where you did rapture Danu Kuro no life me oponoshi. Very very stupid talking point. This is how they think. The same type of mindset. The same type of mindset that use the opportunity. Any opportunity they get to drag the other gender, gender warriors essentially, is the same type of judgmental people. They try to bring religion into it. Same people. Don't get it twisted. Same people. What we should be, I'm glad that this is coming out at least a whole 48 hours after he passing. The last thing I want to do is cover this kind of story when we're celebrating, okay? This guy, his legacy is untouchable, okay? Your legacy is what you should focus on. But first of all, you should know what legacy means. Legacy is not about money, okay? The legacy is not about the idea that you had a perfect life. It's about overall, can we celebrate this person? That's what legacy is, okay? um let's see so he says fact as a man whether yeah we already read that so somebody is here tackling him saying marriage was not a loss to my dad my mom stayed with him in thick and thin and took proper care of him back when he was sick i'm sure my dad died a happy man because he has got best of wife then and that's how i intend standing strong with my hobby marry a godly partner okay so that particular tweet itself has 446 7,000. Auntie, let me tell you right now, being a pick me is not going to help you. Listen to me carefully. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to satisfy these people when they think like this. You could lie down and have them walk all over you. When they look around, there will always be something they can blame for the for the nature of their life. Okay? And if you're the closest thing to them, that you walk all over you. Let's see what he answers. And I'm going to finish with this. Terrible, 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 terrible. This is a reply to, he says, ladies, if you end up in argument with this kind of men on the internet and they drag you, you deserve all the wood. You deserve it. Because there's something about you that's attracted to that and you're trying to satisfy them and it's never gonna work i'm warning you right now just listen just go and pay attention you will see that it never works that's why i don't engage them unless they want to do a healthy debate with me in which case if they're still disrespectful i will silence them if i have my power okay if i don't have my power i still have power i will disengage if i have to okay there you have it <laughs> You can't win with people like this. You can't win with the woman who sees everything wrong with the man. You can't win with the man who thinks everything is wrong. Gender warriors, you cannot win with them. Okay? Don't try it. Don't try to win. This is his reply. He said, if marriage is not a loss to a man, why is it that it's mostly women who are desperate to be married and see it as an achievement? Let me ask you that question. Let's leave with that question. I have to stay on for an hour when I'm away and doing this, okay? But we can continue the conversation behind the scenes. Just go to whatsapp.mindofprestige.com, right? Why? Here's the question that this stupid guy, okay, the stupid, the stupid question he asks, not stupid guy. Let me be nice. The question is asking is that if marriage is not a loss to a man, why is it that it's mostly women who are desperate to be married and see it as an achievement? That's a question for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment area. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever we go live. I will see you on the next one. Peace. Coaching the kitchen, one loving up with an enough.